Hey guys, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com. Uh, working my way backwards on this Pioneer and trying to get caught up and I am so sorry. Um, between weather and everything else and schedules, everybody has been uh, running behind. So what I'm going to do here is I have a picture up on the site, but I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of this trailer and I uh, figure a quick video just to show you guys. Uh, it's 2012-2013 uh, load right. And this trailer has never touched salt water. This is the trailer that goes with the Pioneer, and it is in excellent shape. She's a little... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Thank you. It is a... Um, just covered in pollen, and that's about it. It's been sitting here as this boat is generally either dry stack stored or on the uh at their uh boat dock which is about a six or seven mile ride from hi puppy six or seven mile ride on the water uh at best from where it sits uh i've been through the trailer i mean there's really i i don't know what much else to say it's been sitting here long enough that you can see we that cover sits on top of the winch that apparently there's a bird nest in there and i really don't want to mess with it until the boat's sold um, no salt water de deterioration, even sitting here right off the May River. Um, dual axle brakes. As you guys can see. <laughs> Anybody that knows that has trailers knows where the rust is, and you just don't see it here. I just wanted to show you, and I'm going to assume the brakes obviously should work. Take a look in here. They probably just need to be run a little bit because you get a little bit of buildup on those discs. So there, torsion axle. I have a lot of buyers uh, out of country and out of state. So I'm just kind of trying to cover all the bases. So when the boat comes on, under contract, we are up to speed now either the boat would be sea trialed at the boathouse or uh at this dock depending on scheduling and let's just take a quick look in here oh man these things look brand new i don't even want to pop them out uh what i'll do is i'll make sure the grease are proper uh the hubs are properly greased so anyway this is the trailer that goes with the 2013 pioneer uh, i don't think anybody's going to have any complaints um she's you know i want to say like new but We'll just say excellent condition. No dry rot on the tires. Uh, tires are in great shape. If you're going to be traveling a distance, I always recommend, you know, have a spare tire or two. And you can always return them. And five pin plug or if you want to go with an adapter. And that'll be about it. Probably overdoing it on a trailer. But anyway, Rob and I am always in hotwater.com signing off with the Pioneer Trailer.